friends out there mostly on Facebook and YouTube. I just wanted to show you how to use Google Docs, specifically Google Sheets, to compare your stats from two different rides uh, and get a lot more valuable info than just looking at them side by side in a tab. We gotta get them on the same chart. So uh, I am gonna compare two rides that I did by our favorite host Ashley Paulson from the Japan series at the Shimanami Kaido. Shimanami Kaido Bridges. It's a six part beginner series. And the ride that I'm going to compare is the Takamiyama. Takamiyama National, Takamiyama National Park ride. It's really not that hard to say. I shouldn't have had to check that. So, um, first thing you want to do is log into your iFit account in your web browser. So go up to your menu, there I am, and hit workouts. Now I know where my two workouts are. They were on May 11th. This is the one I'm comparing. Takamiyama Tak 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 National Park. Takamiyama National Park. Um, so go ahead and click on it. Hide the leaderboard. And here is my ride from May 11th, and I want to compare it to the one I have open here from January 11th. Why would I want to do this? Well, at a glance, it's like this chart looks pretty good. I, I went up, I went down, I went up. Oh wait, what's the problem? The, ele the elevation is not very high. I didn't really do very much here. I actually probably turned down the incline at that time, uh, but we'll find out. So on the other one, yeah, it doesn't look like I did very much here, but notice the charts legend is much different, so the elevation is growing at a much higher rate. So well, uh, my point is we want to get both of these stats and a few other stats onto the same chart so they can be easier to compare. Uh, so first, we, we get them both open. This is my first one, and we go ahead and export CSV I go ahead and do the incline, just one more uh, column in, in the data, it's not any very much larger. Now I've got the other ride from May 11th, export that CSV, same thing, here it comes, boom boom. Now I go to Google Sheets, if you don't know what, where that's at, you need a Google account, Google Sheets, this is the spreadsheet free version of... Microsoft, whatever that thing is, <laughs> Excel. But you can go ahead and ba boom. I have one set up here. All right, let me close these out. So once we get into here, and we have my two CSVs downloaded, go ahead and go to File, Import the top here we want upload and go ahead and let's do them in the right date order boom boom this time we're gonna go ahead and insert a new sheet because I've got some sheets set up here and import the data boom here is my ride from January 11th I'm gonna clean up the data down here boom boom but boom, just to make it a little easier to read. Just to make it a little easier, let's delete these columns. These are nice for the export, but we don't need them anymore. Now, let's import the one for May. So import, at the top here, upload, click this button. This is the file I need for May. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a new sheet and hit import data it shows up down here just to make this easier to understand let's clean this title up alright so first I'm interested in my incline I made a little tab here put a cute little emoji the first column we need is time that's gonna be the bottom axis of our graph so let's come back here let's come into the January 11th click on the column to highlight the whole thing 
and copy. I'm on a Mac, so that's old Apple key C or the one closest to the, uh, you know, the one closest to the space bar C. On Windows, it'll be different. Come back in here, paste. Now, first thing I want is incline. So I go ahead and copy this column, paste it here. I'm going to go into the May, copy this column, paste it here. Don't know why. All right, so get these all lined up nice. I'm going to click this little area to select the whole thing, and this is where it gets pretty easy. Just go ahead and insert a chart, and it's going to go ahead and do this for me. Grab these little arrows and, and uh, I can now see, well, I want to change things here. I want to put January and May. Clean this up. So as you can see, if we look at this chart, the red line is, is the more recent ride, and I kept the incline up 10, 12, not 8 here. And unfortunately, in the January ride when we were starting out, I couldn't do that. So we had pushed down the incline. So just right from this chart, we can see how much harder the ride was in May. Let's do watts now. Real fun. Again, let's grab the time. Come to the watts. I had set this tab up earlier. You just go ahead and hit this add sheet. It adds a new tab. Time. Go to our January. Hit Watts. Pop that in there. Go to May. Hit Watts. I forgot to delete these two. That's why I have the extra columns. Boom. May. Copy those. Paste into here. And let's go ahead and Clicking on this, selects them all, insert chart. And we have a much nicer chart here. I'm going to do a couple things to tweak this chart. Again, I forgot to label this January and May. And let's go, I clicked on the little dots to customize the chart. Let's look on the vertical axis. These little spikes here are kind of irrelevant data. That's when you're cycling too hard, real hard, and then the incline jacks up on the machine. So let's go ahead and put a max value of 600. And then look closely at this. Blue is January, red is more recent, May. We can see the red power is significantly higher throughout the entire ride. The spikes were when we were cycling fast in January and the incline got jacked up and then we immediately reverted the incline. All right, cool. Uh, so we could do this again one more time. Heart rate, show you the process again. I need this time column. That's the one that creates the uh, horizontal axis. Heart rate right here in January. This was one month into my riding and I was being more cautious about my heart. In May, I'm a little more comfortable pushing a little harder from the beginning, warming up a little harder. So the chart here, let me show you again real quick the uh, ability to tweak the scale of this so it's easier to see. Come into the customize we're going to do the vertical axis and right here we're showing the max and the min let's go ahead and minimum 100 maximum 170 and we can see that's a nice comparison the red heart rate from the more recent ride is we're pushing a little harder we're pushing our heart a little harder even towards the end of the race so kind of neat so it's important to get these on the same chart so they're on the same scale because otherwise when you look at them side by side it's really they don't tell the same story all right guys i hope this helped